In the quiet village of Mahosangwe Matobo, a tragic event unfolded that would leave the community in shock and sorrow. This was on the 24th of August 2012. The serene atmosphere was shattered by an act of violence that claimed the life of Ngatisani Sibanda. Pilani Maposa, a resident of the village, found himself at the center of a storm of emotions and accusations. It all began with a love letter suspected to have been written by Jetron Lovo to his wife, Siboni Sodube. The discovery set off a chain of events that would culminate in a fatal confrontation. Maposa, determined to address this issue, made several attempts to discuss the matter with Lovo. However, these attempts were futile, leading to Maposa taking the letter to his homestead. There, Lofu's wife confirmed that the handwriting on the letter resembled that of her husband, further fueling Maposa's suspicion and anger. On that fateful day, Maposa went to confront Lofu, but found only his wife in the Tisani Sibanda at home. A heated misunderstanding ensued, during which Maposa armed himself with a hoe and a tool that would tragically become the instrument of death. She then in anger told him that he should have kept his wife on a leash and not cause noise at her homestead. In a fit of rage, Maposa assaulted Sibanda, inflicting fatal injuries. He is said to have said that Lovu wanted to take his wife, so he would also take his. The post-mortem report revealed the cause of death to be subarachnoid hemorrhage and skull fractures. Her life had ended violently, as she had been caught in the crossfire of a marital dispute. Maposa's defense hinged on a claim of provocation stating that Sibanda had insulted him leading to the assault. However, the gravity of the act could not be overlooked. The court presided by Judge Bere heard this case in February 2016. The evidence that was presented was clear and the defense of provocation was carefully considered. The judge called him a coward who could not face another man and decided to unleash his anger on a mere woman. The outcome was inevitable. Pilani Maposa was found guilty for the assault that led to the death of Ngletisani Sibanda. He was then sentenced to life in prison. This case brought a somber resolution to a tale of love, jealousy, and tragedy. May his soul continue to rest in peace.